An interview about another way the coronavirus can spread that has people talking. An internationally known virus expert says he thinks he was infected through his eyes. And now as businesses are reopened, medical reporter Meg Ferris asks, do we need to protect our eyes too? Dr. Joseph Fair recently went on national TV from his hospital bed in New Orleans. He was very sick with COVID-19. People took note of what he said because he's a world expert on viruses and public health. He believes he got the virus on a crowded plane through his eyes. He had a mask and gloves on. So LSU health infectious disease expert, Dr. Fred Lopez, explained the science behind this. In addition to the fact that eye secretions could contain the virus, the virus persisted in the eye secretions longer than it was detected in the nasopharyngeal swab. And Dr. Lopez says doctors know why eyes are an entryway to the body. We also know that there are receptors in the eye through which the COVID-19 virus can enter the body. The same types of receptors that are found in the nose and in the lung. So how does this SARS-2 coronavirus get in your eyes? Well, you could touch a contaminated surface, then rub or touch your eyes, or someone could just talk or cough or sneeze without a mask, and microscopic droplets can linger in the air for a while, then get in your eyes. There are some initial reports from China that um, appear to show that eye, eye exposure was thought to be responsible for infections. In fact, my colleague, investigative reporter David Hammer, said before he got sick and tested positive for the virus, his eyes were very irritated. Conjunctivitis is described in, in COVID-19. So um, yes, um, it, is, it is reported. So remember, when you wear a mask, you're not only giving yourself some protection, but you're mostly protecting others from your droplets. But wearing eye protection protects you. I think anything that can minimize your potential risk is, is not an unreasonable thing to be pursuing. Glasses, goggles, goggles better than glasses. Any barrier that helps. Meg Farris, Eyewitness News.